Well, my crows are short. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, finally, I guess, got the okay to come back on our show. He's not the governor anymore, and he's getting a divorce. I think that wife was keeping him off. You think it was that, or was it a political thing? Governor, hi. Yes, good morning, Howard. Good How morning. Long hi. time, Long time no speak. Uh, I think, I, if I'm right, I don't even think you've been on Sirius one time. No, that's right. No, no, I have not. And uh, this is fantastic, Howard. And uh, you, thank you so much for having me on. It's fantastic. I'm well, you're a free man now in every way. But I'm thrilled. Yeah, you, yeah, I'm, exactly. Uh, Governor, I'm thrilled you're calling in because, you know, I've had a suspicion that, uh, maybe I'm wrong, that your wife kept you off the show in some weird way because she was a Kennedy. And the governor yeah, was yeah. controlled? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, she was, uh, you know, like I say, you know, ding dong, the witch is dead. You know? Oh, right. yeah. wait a minute. No, <laughs> no, I mean, but listen, let me say, Howard, I mean, first of all, she lived 25 years, we're married, you know, Maria, she's fantastic, but, you know, she's a difficult on the show because there's strippers and all that, and it's, you know, whatever, you know. Right. So now, you know, I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm totally nude, I'm just sitting around the house, <laughs> and uh, it doesn't matter, I can do whatever I want, it's fantastic. You're living the life of a single man now. Where is he living? Does he have a bachelor pad? He's. I read you're living in the house. You kicked her out. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you come on, Rob. Are you kidding me? I'm here. And, uh, I mean, she was totally, you know, she let herself go, really. Really? The last few years, yeah. I mean, how it, she looked like a cadaver more and more, you know, exactly. Right. So you were done. That was it. The end of the... That was it, yeah. I mean, now, you know, I, I can walk around the house nude. And... Yeah, have you been with any women since your divorce? Of course, you know, I'm, I'm totally, you know, doing the banging and all that, and right. uh, it's fantastic. I mean, listen, I'm done with California. I totally ran that into the shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. And now, you know, it's great. I'm totally free. It's just great. I'm totally loving it. Yeah, well, you know, a lot, I mean, a lot of people looked at your marriage as a success after all 22 years. The, a power couple. A power couple, and uh, after all, she was part of the Kennedy clan, and... Uh, you know, it's pretty remarkable. Right, but you know, I mean, but the point is I'm free, free from the yelling and from spending all my money and the annoying family, all the Kennedys. Oh, my God. I mean, what a pain in my ass, you know? It was <laughs> unbelievable. 25 years of that, Howard. Why, why, why unbelievable. You, but I thought the Kennedys were good for you. After all, it helped with your political career and uh, helped bring... No, no, listen, after, the, after Teddy, you know, kicked the bucket, I don't feel that the name is as powerful anymore. I'm done with it. I don't care. Once Teddy was there, oh, every day was, oh, Teddy, I ever miss him. I said, give me a break. You know, it's no wonder they drink all the time. Now I know why the Kennedys drink all the time. Why? Wow. Well, because I live with one. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> you started drinking. Exactly. I was hitting the booze, you know, like every night. I was hitting the bottle, you know. It's unbelievable. Uh, I imagine unbelievable. Things, things are very different now. I mean, you're there. I mean, imagine this is hard on your children. I know they're older, but uh, still it's tough. No, they're fine. Listen, they're, you know, listen, they're, they're not girly men, you know, they, they will around. I mean, this is the reality of life. You get stuck in a shitty uh, relationship for 25, 30 years and uh, lose all your money. And uh, look, kids, this is a lesson. This is what happened to daddy, you know, yeah. exactly. I mean, see, I would get out of the shower. Maria would make fun of my man boobies. I mean, it's bullshit. <laughs> I don't mean that. What happened with you? Is it from, uh, I mean, I guess it's no secret you, you had to take steroids and things to become a competitive athlete. Uh, eventually, they do, they do turn into man boobs. Do you get man boobs? Yeah, you do, but I. Yeah, but I, yeah. I. I don't think a wife should make fun of your man boobs. No, it doesn't make fun. You know, pretend that you don't see it. Pretend that you know I still look <laughs> like I did back then. Exactly. I mean, my penis is all shrunk. I've got boobies. It's bullshit. Do you miss having a woman? Do you, have, you miss having a woman there to clean and vacuum and uh, do things? No, well, I have the maid. You know, I've got different Mexican maids come in here. They clean up all my shit. I don't care. Right. You yeah. know, I sit around. I mean, no, listen. I can go to the bathroom now. How it is going? I can go to the bathroom in the bathroom. I can shit on the floor in the living room. Oh. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, it sounds like you're in a happy place, actually. Exactly. I mean, Will you ever? What, 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 uh, would you ever get married again? No, absolutely not. I would rather, listen, I would rather, you know, burn alive or be torn apart by wild dogs than ever do that again. <laughs> well, I'll tell you no, for no, one. No, no, Maria, Maria was more worth than, than the retards at the Special Olympics. Exactly. Oh, my. Really? 
Yeah, you know, I mean, those kids are a lot of work, and you gonna wipe their ass and then bullshit them and tell them, you know, now you're great, you're a total champ, you know, meanwhile they're drooling and all that. <laughs> That's how Maria was, exactly. So you felt as governor, you had to do it, you had to be politically correct and all that. Of right? course, yeah. you had to always uh, hear the kids and, you know, the stupid kids, and they cannot talk properly, and they smell like shit. Well, and listen. Oh, wow, you know, you're he really let <laughs> really, it. You're really out of control. Yeah. Right? Well, I'm glad that you could call in. And, uh, what about the divorce? What's the what say? About it? Um, you splitting 50-50 or did you have a prenup? No, hell no. Are you kidding me? What's the matter with you? I'm not insane. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to keep all my shit and she can get out. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's still, uh, she's still in some of her clothes here at the house. I'm thinking about splitting the dresses out of the bed and just shitting on them. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, can't you? Yeah, I, I totally feel like he man and have defeated Skeletor and all that. <laughs> Are you walking around <laughs> drinking and doing crazy yeah, stuff? Totally, totally drunk, totally nude, smoking the stogies. I even have the sword from Carl. And I've been swinging it at the dogs all day, just scaring the shit out of them. <laughs> That's right. Well, look, you've done. You've uh, listened. You're, you're, you're free. You're not the governor anymore, and you want to get started back in show business. And, exactly. Uh, and I guess this is a move. Uh, you're on our show, and that'll bring people's uh, attention to you, and, and they'll see that you're a freewheeling guy again. And yeah, it's like yeah. That's that's the first move, exactly. Anybody who gets divorced this business, the first move should be to call Howard. Exactly. <laughs> if it's uh, exactly. if you had been legally eligible, would you have run for president? Absolutely, yes, because, you know, I mean, the country is already in the shitter. And uh, I would have, first of all, I would have gotten uh, the bin, bin Laden a lot sooner, obviously. Right. I would have taken care of that. But, yes, I would have loved it, Howard. I mean, it have been fantastic. I would have told him great things with this country. Would you exactly. still be with Maria if you were running for president? Absolutely not. I'd be banging a different woman every night, every night. Wow. Really? It's like a rotation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for calling in. Well, thank you, Howard. This is fantastic. It's, it's truly a historic day. You know, seven-time Mr. Olympia, 30 years movie star, then governor of California. None of it compares to me getting rid of that dead weight. It's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> well, congratulations. a little bitter. Uh, you're as free as a free bird. Yes, I'm a free man. It's fantastic, Howard. Let's go drinking or we go to a strip club or something. All you right. come out, I will take you out. You bet. Thank you, Arnold. <laughs> uh, thank you. Bye-bye. There he is, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> then you'll be getting a divorce with him. If right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's free and he's had it with the Special Olympics. And he say, Just to recap, in case you mi missed it, he said the reason that many of the Kennedys were big drinkers is that you try to spend time with some of the Kennedys. You would drink, too. He says that uh, Maria was more work than one of the kids at the Special Olympics. Oh, I think he was a little harsh. That's right. And what else did he say? Because I'm sure no the... prenup. He's just throwing her out. He threw her out. That's <laughs> it. Oh, is that you? Uh, are you still there, Governor? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I didn't realize you were still there. Yeah, I'm just drinking. I'm sitting here drinking my brother schooner. I was listening to you recap what I just said. Yes. Yeah, about the retarded kids and all that, yeah. Yeah. And, and don't uh, forget, don't forget, Howard, don't forget the part where I said I would shit on Maria's dresses. <laughs> what about uh, that she made fun of your man boobs? Yeah, that was my favorite part. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one, yeah. My mm -hmm. man boobs and my penis, yeah. And you also said that uh, Maria was losing her looks. That was the reason for the divorce. Exactly. Right. Yeah, she looked like she was dead, like a cadaver. A lot of guys don't say that. They always say, we grew apart. We right. that. You were honest. You said, look, she's losing her looks. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. She started to get those nasty wrinkles around the lips that the women get. <laughs> it's like, you know, they look like they've been blowing too much or something. And oh, the wow. going on. From too many blowjobs. they all that shit in. Right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Well, all right. And what did you say? It was like defeating Skeletor? What? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like wow. Skeletor. Very harsh you words. Get it, Robin. You get it. <laughs> well, and you said you were free, and you said that um, you felt that since Teddy Kennedy died, that you feel the Kennedy name is not as powerful. It's not as powerful. You had right. to get out of here. Right. You summed it up, Howard. We just did it for five minutes, and now you've summed it exactly. Exactly. You're right. genius. Brilliant. Right. Thank you. I will be sitting here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I